All right, welcome back, folks. It's Troy D. Welcome back to the channel. Troy D. 24-7 Mall. On Point Reviews all day, every day. We got another one, guys. But this one, wow. This one is a gift to me by one of the friends of the channel. His name is Brandon. I want to thank Brandon for this. He actually sent me some bangers. Some straight grail style bangers. It's, it's a lot, okay? And he was nice enough to send this to me. And he was like, yeah, man, bro, go through it. And let me know what you think. Share the passion. And that's exactly what we're doing today. Today, we're going to talk about one of the more known, you can say hyped, if you're in the Oud community or Zhirzhov community. This is from the Oud Stars collection. This is none other than Ceylon. Zhirzhov Ceylon. Look at that. Orangey orangey uh juice right there Zhirzhov ceylon wow well known well known in the uh Zhirzhov oud stars line primarily also because it's damn expensive 400 something bucks but sometimes you can get lucky i've seen ceylon sell for less in the grays for a bunch of reasons one of which is because maybe the buyer not so much into oud not so much into animalic stuff not so much into powerful stuff then you see it for sale and if you do find it grab it get it if you can get it at below the retail price get it okay i'm telling you guys so we're gonna talk about ceylon today but before that we're gonna hit the music Okay, guys, we're back talking about Zhirzhov Ceylon, the most expensive one out of all the Oud Stars in the Oud Stars collection. Now, the first thing I'm going to say is from a collecting perspective, okay, that I'm going to go first with that. Uh, Ceylon is, if you already own a Zhirzhov Mamluk, or even if you have Alcat or a few Kemis, this might be some sort of hybrid of those okay um if you already own those upgrading or getting a, a ceylon will be in my opinion kind of redundant you know because all these jerjoffs are really powerful ouds uh oud fragrances they really do project nicely they're impactful but uh some of the notes in ceylon you can find in their his other brothers or even on the chemis so i just want to bring that out now say you don't have any of those you don't have mamluk like i only have like a two mil mamluk this is like a one mil ceylon or two mil uh and chemi i have samples as well so if i didn't get an alcat maybe i would have gone for a ceylon okay uh this is an oud fragrance that number one is sweet primarily because of well not really just a few things it's almost all the things that it has but it has honey okay lots of it all right and this honey you can find exactly in mamluk right so honey is uh really a prominent note in ceylon delivers that sweet honey smell now second thing here is the second hit is that when you, you you smell it this is where everybody just goes polarized right this is where everybody gets polarized at this point when these sort of like animalic slash some people will say barnyard some people will say urine poop whatever right that entire combination okay that comes uh, from Ceylon is actually a combination of a couple things or three things rather number one this has a combination of both Indian oud and Malaysian oud Indian oud is the barnyard sort of and Malaysian is the sweeter type oud okay on top of that guys the musk that is in here is the real deer musk the real deer musk or a tincture it is a uh, 
very realistic and what is deer musk i mean the real one is like i've i've had it in some arich ladori you know this stuff is slightly animalic kind of uranus but honey you know it's got this honey warm feel to it uh that's what the almost like the uh, the the siberian musk it's just it's, just, it's deer musk the real deal slightly animalic so basically after or at the same time that you're getting the very perceptive like almost like you could all it's like it's so dominant that the honey these other notes just boom hit you and they kind of dance around you right it's it's both the qualities of the musk and then it's the oud and they kind of dance around you all right so this is the feeling that most people that try it get they can't you know they're like man i can't put a finger on it and and it depends on what registers first is it is it the the uranus you know fecal whatever you know in their brains or is it the sweetness or is it the animalic or is it the honey nevertheless the ouds here really supplement the honey which is really the main strong man in this fragrance now to continue and this is something that is in alcat it is jasmine jasmine folks so jasmine is another uh sweet flowery note that goes right with the already aforementioned combination i'm not going to repeat it but the jasmine is also very pronounced okay so if you like jasmine you like that oriental feel of jasmine bam it's another piece of ceylon Okay, now Ceylon, if you don't know what that is, it's not an Arabian thing. It's not a Middle Eastern thing. Ceylon was the old name of Sri Lanka. Okay, Sri Lanka used to be called the Dominion or the Kingdom of Ceylon. Okay, and Ceylon is still used today because one of their uh, like primary exports is Ceylon tea, which is like a black tea, a sweet, somewhat citrusy black tea that they uh, sell. And that black tea is in this thing. So if you like Winter Palace, which I do, or tea-based scents, you're going to get a feel of that here, okay? The second, because when you get, when you first smell it, right, the honey is the predictable. And then that mix of the musk and the ouds are just boom, it jumbles it up, jumbles up your feelings, jumbles up your sensations. And it's, it's all mixed up. You're like, oh, what is that? And then the thing that catches it again, almost like it catches you if you fell, is the tea. Familiar. It comes back and you're like, oh, tea. There you go. There's that black tea. That's quite nice. And then you get the tea again. And then that's why it's like a great uh, sensation, guys, whenever you smell this thing. That's kind of like the primary uh, experience that you'll get when you spray on Georgeoff Ceylon. And you can ask anybody else that owns this. Uh, they'll tell you that it's like something predictable and then a disruption, confusion, and then another safety net, which is the Ceylon black tea. Okay. Now, the dry down, the base notes of this, do nothing else but really amplify what's already started. You have the vanilla you have amber so it's more honeyed more sweet just you know base notes warm rounding it out but nonetheless guys the experience of ceylon really comes from the initial part really the initial it's actually quite wonderful and you know some people ask me and they always say like man why are you into all this like oud stuff you know what i mean like why can't you just just do uh, love the the usual like freshies or whatever well it's because of the experience guys this is something that i guess linear or uh you could say uh the immediate satisfaction fragrances just cannot reproduce okay so that's my answer to that it takes you through an experience and it's also powerful so just imagine guys if i had like a normal fragrance on my right hand and I put Ceylon on my left easily this thing will blow the other away and matter of fact I will just stop sniffing the other one because it's the olfactory journey that it puts you through just within like a few minutes it's crazy okay so 
that's really what it is. That's the beauty of Ceylon. Like I said, take note of the redundancy that I said. Um, if you have Mamluk, if you have Alcat, try to sample this first because this is $400. But if you actually missed those, if you don't have those, or say you own the samples and then you're like, man, I want to upgrade into some sort of, you know, a full bottle Oud Star, then go ahead, get Ceylon because it will be a really fun ride in my opinion okay it is gourmandish uh, definitely there is a gourmand feel because of the tea because of the honey the sweetness but like i said it it gives you this whoa wave of confusion because of the notes of the real deal musk plus the different ouds that are in this it's gonna put you through a wave and then suddenly bam blanketed safety with tea black tea wonderful right so you know in my opinion is it worth it if it's not redundant to you get it if it is you might want to sample it first but to me i could definitely i would love to get a full bottle of this at some point because it is really an ex <laughs> it's, it's an interesting experience once you start smelling stuff like this it's it's weird like other fragrances are like just meh you know, it's just just because of the journey it puts you through. And as a reviewer, reviewing this kind of stuff, like, is it, great. It's a great experience for me, okay? So I want to thank our friend Brandon who actually sent this stuff. I got his Instagram below, his link below to his photography Instagram. He's good at photography. He does do a lot of photography for not just the perfumes, but he has his own photography uh, service. So make sure you check out his Instagram okay thank you again brandon i appreciate you and again thank you to you guys all our viewers all our supporters thank you for subscribing liking the videos commenting giving me feedback i appreciate you guys wherever you are around the world i'm here for you guys i'm here to tell you guys some straight reporting about all of this stuff okay so you don't have to think about man is it a, you know it's expensive but why or is it expensive is it worth it or somebody said it was not, it wasn't good, whatever. I'm here to tell you guys. I'm here to cover you guys, okay? So until then, thank you for watching. This is Troy D. Take care.